Hello and welcome to the CSCART video tutorial. My name is Sergey, and today I'm going to show you how to create an eBay template. Let's begin. To export your products to eBay, you need an eBay template. These templates serve to group your products by specific parameters, such as shipping and payment methods, categories, etc. To create and configure a template, complete the following steps. First, open your store's administration panel and go to Marketing, eBay, eBay Templates. Next, click the plus button. Fill in the fields in the General tab. By the way, when you create a template, make sure to fill in the mandatory fields marked with a star mark. Name your template, choose the region for your template, Add products that will be included into this template. You can either use this template as a default one or not. After that, set up eBay categories for the products in this template. There are lots of subcategories on the eBay, so choose the subcategory as accurate as possible. Also, you can set up secondary categories for your products if needed. Moving on, configure your shipping settings on the Shipping tab. Choose the shipping type, calculate it, calculate your shipping fee according to customers zip address, the weight of the package and the type of shipping services you offer. Flat type, use a fixed shipping rate. Select your domestic and optionally international shipping service from the drop-down menus. After that, specify the time it will take to deliver a product to customer in the dispatch days field. The next step is to choose the eBay payment method on the Payments tab. Select the payment method you want to use on eBay. If you choose PayPal as your payment method, enter the email of your PayPal account. This field will be marked as a required one. Choose the condition of the products included in the template and select Listing Duration, where GCC means Good Till Cancelled. The next tab is the return policy. Choose whether you accept returns or not. Specify within what time period a buyer should contact you after receiving the item. Select the preferred way of refund. Choose who should pay for the return shipping. And describe your return policy. To list the products in certain categories on eBay, you need to specify the product identifiers. If you are not planning to use some of the identifiers, choose does not apply in the corresponding field. After clicking create and close, the new template will appear on the eBay templates page. If you click the gear button, you will be able to export or revise products on eBay and eBay sales, get product status from eBay, check the logs, edit and delete the template. So in order to make the add-on work, you need to enter the general information, specify the shipping method, specify the payment method, describe your return policy and choose product identifiers. Well, that's it. If you have any questions considering the eBay synchronization add-in, you can ask them in the comment section below, on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks for watching.